Hi friends, it's Z. I have some things to talk to you about today. So, let's get started before I forget. Ta-da! Welcome to Z's World. <laughs> Hi friends, welcome back to Z's World. What am I wearing? Let's get that out of the way now. I am wearing a granny top that I made with cotton, the original cotton cakes. I ran out, I made this for crocheting when I went with Claudia, Hannah from the Cozy Cottage. Hi Hannah, Hannah, Hannah! And uh, Stephanie from the Tatter Tatter. Hello Stephanie! And Luna! That was my beautiful Luna. We all went to Vegas for the first time as a group and we did a Stitch and Bitch meetup at Sin City Knits which was amazing and I made that top while I was there. I normally like to make something that reminds me of my time there. It's just two grannies, we sew them together. Um, because I'm a little bit on the wider side. I had to add two or three rows of granny stitch. Now I originally had seen this through Jan Carruthers, Urban Gypsy Crochet. I will try and find the link of the video where she made one down below. But if you want a tutorial, you go to Jeanette, DOY Creations. She has dropped the seventh. <laughs> DOY Creations. She will show you how to make the top. It's very easy. You just get two granny squares, sew the side, and then leave room for your neck. There you go. F bomb. <clears throat> F bomb was created by Amanda. Undercover yarn snob. Hi, Amanda. She is a lady I go to when I want anything out of this world, amigurumi style, because y'all know. I can't crochet this little teeny tiny thing. It looks like a mic. But this is an F-bomb that she made for me. She actually gifted this to me and then she made one for Kat from the Little Knittery. Hi Kat! Hi Makiko! Hi Cherie! <laughs> I miss you guys! So I'm wearing the F-bomb to remind me that there was a live earlier today. Today is uh, Wednesday, what's today? <gasps> Today's tax day, Wednesday, April 15th, 2020. This is Vita, by the way. Oh, geez. <laughs> Wednesday, April 15th. There was a live on Instagram with Darn Good Yarn and Willie Smith. <laughs> Willie Nilly Knits. That's my boy. <laughs> you know that guy with the chunky, 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 chunky. <laughs> And Nicole from Darn Good Yarn started love. They got together and they did a live today. I will put that link below if I can. It's only good for 24 hours. Just be forewarned. There's some F-bombs and some S-bombs. Just be forewarned. Y'all know I'm all about this life. I try and tone it down because I know I got my Izzy watching me. And now I got Santiago. He's going to be watching me. So... I gotta be good. But it's a no holes barred, Big Daddy, when we do lives. Just saying. So what are we here for today? We're here to talk about some old hoes. Old hoes that... I don't know. What's that saying? Do I finish or frog it? One is a half hoe. Well, they're all old hoes. <laughs> old, old hoes. One is, I'd say about 99% done, but I'm gonna show you that one first. Now the colors bring me joy. Like I said, when I go places, I like to make something to remind me of my time there. And I used to go traveling a lot, as you guys know. And there's a place called Solvang, it's up north, and it's a small little Dutch town. I drove there many a times to get away from all the hubbub over here. 
just got a room for a couple nights and go around the shops. I'll try and put a little link below if you guys have never been there. Well, wouldn't you know it? This yarn hoe found a yarn store <laughs> in Solvang. So, even though I took a suitcase of yarn, I still bought, gosh, 16, 16 skeins. I cleared that those cubbies out, I cleared them out. I think she had four or something in each. I was like, boom, 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 boom. And I walked out, I'm like, I want this. And she's like, oh, do you know? I'm like, girl, I'm a hooker, recognize? Just saying. So I originally started making a giant granny square because I figured this will be perfect and cozy and the colors are life. And then I was watching YouTube videos as I'm making it and I was like, you make a cardigan, a granny cardigan like that? Just a big giant granny square and you fold it? I'm like, hey, I'll do that. That was a stupid idea on my part. <clears throat> Let me tell you why. Because I put it on me and everything fits good. Of course it doesn't close. But I got diaper booty. <laughs> I'm not going to stand up and show you. <laughs> but I'm sure you know, y'all know who's made a granny cardigan. All know what diaper booty is. If it's perfect here, the arms are perfect. But when it falls on your butt, it's all crunched up. It looks like you got a wet diaper. So let me show you how the granny would have looked. Right? And this is made with chunky, chunky, chunky yarn. <laughs> That's for you, Willie. <laughs> chunky, chunky. I love it. It's so cozy. <sighs> but here, I went and folded the thing and made the thing. Put the arms and the thing. You put the thing on. And you see how it fits? Oh, yeah. I left the ends in because I'm debating taking it off. All I have to do if I want to keep it is just add more rows. So, like this, it looks good, right? I mean... <clears throat> Not with this top on, of course. You see the back? You see how it's bunching up? Well, it bunches like that on my boogie. So that's not bringing me joy. I don't want diaper booty. I want something that brings me happiness. So what should I do? Should I take off the border? I'm coming to you guys. You guys are the experts. Should I take off the border? And just make a giant granny, which is already a giant granny. And then cuddle with it. Because this really is not bringing me joy, the, the cardigan part. Now, if I could cut a hole and make it a poncho, now we're talking. But I ain't frogging the whole thing. If I'm going to frog anything, it's going to be the blue. And then take it off and turn it back into a cardigan. Just want to get your opinion on it. Frog the border. Make a granny blanket. Or finish it and add sleeves. Comment down below. Okay, my second project. This was started a very long time ago. How long, you ask? When mandalas first came out. What is that, like uh, six, seven years ago? 
They first came out and they were all the rage. I can't even tell you what color this is, but it's the one that feels like it has wool in it. And I don't remember if it's acrylic and wool or all wool. I don't know. It feels very wooly. It's very scratchy. It's not soft. It's not bringing me joy. The pattern. Oh, this is no pattern. It's just granny square. Now the pattern for this shawl that I was making is called Down the Rabbit Hole and it's made by Erin. Give me Erin 418. Erin! I am I'd say 85% done with the shawl. This is all I have left. It's scratchy. It's rough. It's wooly. It's not making me happy. But dude! Let me show you the shawl. If somebody wants it, I'll put it in a bag and mail it to you and y'all can finish it. I I don't want it. And I don't want to frog it. Let me show you. If I send it to you though, you gotta keep it. <laughs> because I've sent people stuff and they end up finishing it and they send it back and I'm like, no, I don't want it. <laughs> so if you want it, let me know. Just comment down below and I'll Comment, um, rabbit, if you want it. And tomorrow I'll, I'll do a random thing and I'll pick somebody. If you want it. Let me show you first. Uh, oh. <laughs> Here you go. Here's the beginning. Oops. It's called Down the Rabbit Hole. The colors are beautiful, I'm not going to lie. They look really good on the camera. Really, really good. I like how that purple's just coming in. But in real life, it's more muted. It's not as sharp and bright as what you're seeing on the camera. And like I said, you know, it's basically done. Maybe just a little stretchy. And there's quite a bit of yarn left. But it's really not bringing me joy. And it's way too much to frog. I think I'll ruin the project. So if somebody wants this, you can finish it. You can keep it. Just put rabbit in the comment. R-A-B-B-I-T. And I'll go ahead and send it to you tomorrow. What do you think? Nothing wrong with the pattern. I promise you. I'll put the Ravelry link down below as well. It's just the yarn. The yarn is not the yarn that I should have started with. But because it was Mandala and it just came out. It was all the rage. And I was working at the time. So I went and bought, I don't know, like a lot. <laughs> I'm not the only one that does this stuff. <laughs> you guys already know that. When y'all come up with some money, two, three hundred dollars, boom. Somebody's doing an advent calendar, two hundred dollars, boom. Three hundred, boom. That was me. That was me in the past. And now it's like, I'm just, everybody's like doing the stash busting because they want to. I'm doing it because I have to. And this, uh, if you want it, wrap it down below long story long okay my next old hole this is made this is my first stitches that I ever went to uh, eight nine years ago and oh my gosh I was overwhelmed I I walked in and I used to watch all the people from Red Heart from Lion Brand you know the spokespersons who was the one from Red Heart Kathleen Kathleen Sams, if you guys go old school, that's who taught me how to crochet too. Kathleen Sams from Red Heart. Hi Kathleen. She'll never watch, but you never know. <laughs> so 
So I was walking around and Lion Brand had a booth. And I was like, oh my God. And I was trying to remember who it was and I recognized the lady and I said, hi, so-and-so. And she stepped back. She's like, how do you know my name? And I'm like, well, you do these lives. You show us how to crochet. You're so nice on, on the YouTube. I figured you'd be nice in person. Nope. She turned around and she was like, she ain't helping me. She was so scared. Because I'm like, can I get a picture with you? Oh my gosh. She, nope. 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 Long story long again. They had this really amazing yarn. It was the first time that Lion Brand added wool. Um, the first time that Lion Brand added merino wool in little cakes. And they sold it. I don't know how much it was going for. Maybe five, six bucks a little skein. Skein. <laughs> I say skein. I don't know how y'all say it, but I say skein. So I bought all these little balls. Probably, they came like this big. They were tiny. They were bigger than a bonbon. They look like little sock cakes. And uh, do I have? I'm sure I don't have the label. This is one of the colors. It's got merino in it and it's so soft. I bought a coral. I bought an um, olive green one. Oh yeah, I bought two, one, one or two corals and one or two olive green. And it's so freaking soft. I don't know if they still sell this anymore. I can't even tell you the name. Like I said, I got inspired to start crocheting. I was a beginner crocheter. All I, all I had to teach me was Kathleen Sams, but that, that lady was like, Phew! and done. And so I found Claire, Bob Wilson, 123. And Yolanda Soto Lopez, Sabio. And I said, okay, I'm going to use their stitches, put them together, and make something beautiful. Right? Because we all have this grand plan in our head of, oh my gosh, I can already see the designs and, and the stitch and the, the texture. And, oh, it's going to be great. It's going to be fantastic. And then we make it. It's like, <laughs> what happened? What happened, bro? <laughs> what happened? Man. So let me show you my what happened was. <laughs> I ran out of the green, and I only have this much left of the coral. It's like a, like a soft orange. I added some, some of my first Malabrigo. Thank you very much. And I made... I was trying to make a shrug. But now I don't know where I'm going with this. I was thinking like a top like this and then just, let me show you. Let me quit talking. I don't think you're ready. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. <laughs> I don't think you're ready. Uh, here we go. Wham. Even then I liked bright colors. This looks like an old um, radio, like a hip hop radio. Go the hip hop, hippity hippity. I can't sing. Willie, I need you to rap. I can't rap. <laughs> you see? I had some kind of vision, and I plum forgot. It's been about eight years. So I was thinking, if I make something like this, I already have the front done, right? Because it'll be like this, and it'll just be kind of long. Of course you have to wear an undershirt, or you'll be exposing yourself, and that's not nice. <laughs> then I just got to make something for the back, the same width obviously a different type of yarn this I'm not getting rid of though <laughs> I don't know what it's gonna be but whatever it decides to be I'm gonna keep it because it's beautiful 
these colors are amazing look at that okay so these squares are Yolanda Soto Lopez this is Claire this is Yolanda Soto Lopez and then I just started moving and grooving I can't even tell you what everything else is I know there's some single crochets in between and then I don't know what happened here but because I'm a Libra I think that everything should be fair so that's why there's everything is the same so what do you think make a top this side's already done. And then the back, I guess I'll use Heartland or something. And then just do uh, a quick double crochet back and forth, just something. Or I can do a um, striped granny. I don't know. Those are my three hoes. One, two, three. This one I don't want though. This yarn, it's it's not the yarn for it. If you want to purchase the pattern, I'll put the link down below. This was the wrong yarn to use it with. I don't know. Oh, as you probably guessed, uh, I wasn't doing too much of anything because yesterday, all the excitement. Uh, I got a little flare up on my wrist right here. I know you can't see it now, but I had a nice little lump. It still hurts if I do this, and this is my hook and hand. You can't do that right now. So I'm trying to take it easy and not overwork it. Uh, I would really, really, really love for you guys to check out that live with Nicole from Darn Good Yarn and Willie from Willy Nilly Knits. It was very entertaining. Oh my gosh, I had a great time. Apparently, there's some special surprises coming up. But you gotta stay tuned. Oh, uh, we have a winner. Sabrina is the winner. She is a new subscriber and she was like, Z, wait. She messaged me first thing. And she named my kids and I was like, no, they're right here. She's like, oh my god, I gotta binge watch fast. So <laughs> she started watching all the videos really quick and she came back. The answer to my doggie who passed away is Tootie. I got a tattoo of her and if I can find the picture, I'll put it right here. April 29th, I think will be nine years that she has passed. Mm -hmm. She was my Rottweiler. I used to call her Tootie Looty, fresh and fruity. And I grab her booty and she go, Hoy! Towards the end, when she was getting older, I'd say Tootie Looty. And she'd automatically go like that without me grabbing her. <laughs> oh, I miss her. She's so beautiful. She's in my videos. If you guys go back, she's in a lot of the videos. She ended up having some seizures and then she got a... Um, she had a really bad seizure. I think she had an aneurysm. 14 years I had my tootie looty. I don't want to end with a bad note. We're going to end with a positive note. Because we got good things coming in and to play. You hear me? There's a lot of good stuff. There's going to be yarn related stuff. Um, there's going to be prizes. There's going to be a lot of good stuff. I need you guys to stay with me if you haven't gone over to darn good yarn please click the link down below it lets them know that i sent you and it automatically takes 15 percent off your total purchase as long as it's not on sale thank you to everybody that purchased from darn good yarn thank you so much and from naughty knitting sex that code is still active if anybody wants to go get a naughty bag the code is zee15 -E zee15 -E Type it in when you make your purchase. You can either get a naughty sack or a not naughty sack. 
That's the fuzzy, fuzzy shop, fuzzy sheep. I'll put that link down below. You go to her shop and you just put in Z15. It takes out 15%. Darn good yarn, you just click the link. There's no more code. So that's all I have. I'm very proud of myself. I didn't think I was going to make it today. But Willie pushed me and he was like, get your ass up. No, he didn't say it that way. <laughs> uh, I'm just saying that he was, he is on me and I like that. Nicole and him and I, we are all working together and trying to get some stuff and brainstorm. So I hope you guys stay along and enjoy. I hope everybody has a wonderful day. And don't forget, like Madonna says, laugh, 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 because life's too short not to. Love you. Peace out. Bye. Oh.